I have a problem. I can either choose to get Bane of Arthropods 5 on my brand new Vault Axe, which I got in the last episode, or I can get Sharpness 5, which would give it an attack damage of 13.8, which is a lot better than my current sword, which by the way has Sharpness 6. This is a tough choice to make. You see, my current Vault Axe has Smite 5 on Breaking 3, which makes it really good for undead mobs. But I have to think here, what other mobs do I encounter? I encounter sometimes myself, which is a bit worrying, but I also encounter spiders and creepers. Spiders are maybe some of the most tankiest mobs in the vaults. In the Arthropods. Or sharpness. Uh, sharpness. With unbreaking. Yes, that, that's that's my that's my final choice. However, I think it is probably a good idea to name these undead rekiller. Oh, that should have been undead rekiller. -er. Oh well. Anything else? Killer. Yep. Perfect. Well, it will be perfect in a moment. As soon as I get it down to, yes, level 28. Anyways, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In today's episode, I want to focus on one thing and one thing mainly. I need to progress. I need more vault ores. I need more vault resources. I need more star essence so I can make more knowledge stars. I need more of many things. And the most efficient way I can do that is by dedicating an episode to just doing a ton of vaults. So before I could do a ton of vaults, I need a ton of crystals. And by a ton, apparently I mean a ton minus one. <laughs> Today I am going to try and make as many of these crystals as I possibly can. Some of them we might turn into cake crystals and then in the next episode we're just gonna go all out and run, well, a lot of vaults. We might go ahead and do one cake vault this episode, we will have to see. But Looks like I need to get to work. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I have a fancy sugarcane farm for this occasion. So that is everything, but there's a nether ward. Oh, nether ward block. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. That changes things. This is not 20, and twerker does not work with nether ward. Big sad. Well, this is a great start. I am dumb. I went out to the nether because I got bored of waiting for my farm to produce enough nether wood to make this block and then it turns out that this is a thing growing naturally all around the nether. Quite literally all around. I... Uh, well... Uh, hmm. Oh dear me. How did I even remotely manage to survive two... two years? A year and a half? Something like that in this dimension? There we go. That wasn't so hard. Boom. Okay, well that is the first vault crystal completed. One down, ten to go. Ice. Easy. Boom, 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 boom. Second. And what I think I'm actually going to do, since we're going to make 12, 11, 10, 12-ish crystals, why don't I set up some pedestals somewhere? Somewhere where they're kind of out of the way, not interfering too much. 12. Yes. We'll see how far this takes us. There we go. Two out of 12 completed. That's gotta take a while. But today is crystal crafting day. That. Oh. Why? That's probably why this episode is going to be exciting. Um. I'm going to suffer. I have everything else but Prismarine. I can't believe this. I need to find an ocean monument. Let the search begin. What on earth is this? Purple sand. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Found one. All right. So I need just these. So I should be able to just do that maybe. Oh dear. This is going to be a bit painful. I need 12. I believe I'm just going to get a good bunch. I haven't gotten minor fatigue yet. So that's... Good. I should have grabbed my magnet. Ah, that is. But you see, I can fight minor fatigue very easily. Lens. And then just gotta do this before I get minor fatigued again. Grab around a stack or so, I think. That'll be good. There we go. I think that will do it. Please get me out of here. Another pink and light. Blue Island? This has, this has to be... You know what? 
this is a nightmare. This is just a nightmare. Getting these Presbyterian breaks in the ulcer was just a nightmare. I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be a lucky one, which is requiring one rotten flesh, two gunpowder, three dirt, and one diamond. Yep, that is exactly what's gonna happen in three, two, one. Nope, not a nightmare. Definitely not a nightmare. Oh well, mission accomplished. However, that was the third crystal. We are making good progress. Aha, we're making really good progress. 570 something or 80 something, I'm not sure. Boom, boom, done. Four, easy. 300 cones, are you kidding me? I have a honey farm. Give me like 20 or 24. You know what, I, I probably shouldn't talk. There's gonna be a time where it's gonna ask a thousand and I am not ready for that. Boom. Crystal number five. Ooh. It says lucky, but... Oh. Ooh, okay, I already have some. Well, in that case, it is very easy. Crystal number six. We're on a roll here. Ew. Everything else, though, is just fine. But a turtle egg. Uh, I guess it could be worse. It could be worse. That's one final thing that I need to get sorted, though. A way of getting turtle eggs, because this is... <laughs> one day, yeah, I don't I don't want to keep using Laramar on that. No. Anyways. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have any more of those. Ice, kelp, glowstone, and one phantom membrane. Copy that. Maybe an automatic kelp farm wouldn't be a too bad of an idea either, actually. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This will be painful, but I always sleep, so I would have to wait three nights before phantoms would spawn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's, it's just Larimar. It's just Larimar. I can, I can get more, right? <laughs> <laughs> number, number eight. Now we're talking. This is easy. Mm -hmm. And sight. Maybe I'll have enough. Yes. Crystal number nine. Interesting. Annoying, but interesting. I'm just glad I have some of these and some of this and some of this. Should have in here. Yes. Waiting. Boom. I feel like I'm saying boom a lot in this episode when I click this button. Boom. I'll stop now. Boom. Ooh. Uh, eh, cocoa beans. I don't even have cocoa beans. How do I get cocoa beans? I mean, I know how to get them, but cocoa beans? That means jungle. That means uh, a lot of flying. I think I'm going to do something. Dash just doesn't cut it anymore when it comes to flying. Too slow. So instead, uh-huh, uh-huh, flight duration three, nice. I'll see you in just a moment. And we have arrived. Now I just have to find, I see them, I see them. Gibby, does fortune work on this? I don't know if it does. Nope, don't think it does. I do think I should probably bring home a few saplings. Nice, back home we go. All right, so if I were to place nine jungle logs, with nine cocoa beans. Yes. Perfect. Ooh, and I can just, oh, okay. Perfect. Boom. Okay, I'll stop now. And that is crystal number 11. Not bad. However, that is an issue. And also I do want to run at least one cake vault today. So that means, yep. Mining time. Ah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This is a lot of junk. All right. How much am I getting from this? At least two. Six. Oh wow. Well, that's that's plenty. All right. We're missing one crystal, and then I would like to run at least one cake vault today. So we have two crystals to craft remaining. The rest are gonna go right in there. Let's see what we get. Ooh, easy. Three honeycombs, one gold ingot, a stack and two sand. And there we go. That is the 12th 
Vault Crystal for the next episode. Now I do want to put these a little bit neater somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I don't want them in the middle of my floor, I have decided. But there we have it, 12 Vault Crystals. I'm not gonna bother putting catalysts on them, I don't think. I'm just gonna run them as they are. Now I want a fancy place to display them. Not my best creation ever, but in between episodes, I promise I'll be, yeah, I'll be making something better. <laughs> For now, though, I thought it might be cool if they're in the ground, which it kind of is, just doesn't fit with the current flooring. I'll fix it in between episodes, okay? I promise. With that done, though, that does mean we have one more crystal to make, and that is the one for today. 341 andesite? Oh, boy. However, it appears that I should have... Oh, yeah, I definitely have enough. Yep. And there we go. Now, because we want a cake vault, I need a cake. Thank you, good sir. And cake hunt. Finally, let me get all my gear. <laughs> Undead killer, everything else killer. Yep, this is gonna be good. I'll be wanting a lot of candy bars for this one. I'm gonna take all of them, in fact. And I hope it will be worth it. I think I have everything, except, of course, for my lights. I don't want that. Don't need the rockets either. Yep, I think I'm good. I don't think I'm missing anything. Usually when I save that, I am. But for this, I don't think I am. All right, here we go. Cake hunt, my objective for this is to finish the cake hunt, hopefully. If there's too many cakes that I can tell I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna <coughs> just focus on looting, but let's go. Ooh, a speedy, we're starting off with a speedy one. Okay, oh, and this is a, gr uh, why? <laughs> this is a great, ow, 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 ow. This is a great, great room, also dangerous. But it is really, really good. Okay, I have to focus on... Okay, that's not fair. I'm gonna have to focus on some looting here, because this could turn out really, really well. Mm, I'm not even gonna loot those. I don't... No. Too too risky, I think. Oh, this is so risky. If one of the... If just one of them blows up, that'll be not fair at all. Ow! My blue spikes of harming? Ugh, really not comfortable looting those. But I can loot everything else without any problems. That could have been risky. That could have been really risky. Another poison. Not cool. Yeah, it's quite crowded here. Bottom section? I don't even know what that'll do. Ooh, okay. Um, press me. No, this is a puzzle. Ooh, okay. I did it! Oh, wow. Okay, um. Uh, ow. Okay, that's not fair now, is it? <laughs> I thought that would have I thought that might have been a bad idea doing that. Oh well. Okay. Um right. Anyways, I'll uh I'll loot one at a time here. Okay, right. Yeah. Ooh, unidentified. Okay, yep. I I'm sorry, but I don't care about the cake anymore. <laughs> this loot is awesome. And time to get out of here. I think I got everything. I hope I got everything. I see the cake though, I just spotted the cake now. All right, I'll take the cake. We'll move on to the next room. Oh wow, I can't believe that room, that was great. All right, find the cake, find the cake, find the cake, find the cake. Whoa. Uh, cake, where would the cake be? Could be anywhere. 12 meters, 12 meters, 12 meters, 12 meters. I see it, got it. Got it. Ow. Okay, so the past five minutes has been so chaotic. All right, here we go. Cake, where would... If I was a cake, where would I be? Where, like, where, where would I place myself if I were a cake? Apparently, that's where I would be if I were a cake. Oh, come on. Eh. There we go. Next room has been opened. Three out of the 23? Uh... 
Personal space, oh, that's good. Uh, 48 meters, 48 meters. Depending on how fast I'm able to get these, um, I could get them all if I stopped looting and started looking. I see it, yes. All right, cake, cake, cake. Ooh, venue type, yes, please. The loot has gotten better, cake. The loot has, I feel, gotten better. Oh, it's gilded. Ooh, and I think lucky? Maybe? Hmm, not bad. And another cake. <laughs> we are definitely on a roll here. Ooh, gilded chest, I can't pass that up. I, nope, definitely can't pass that up. Ooh, spider cave. My, maybe my least favorite room. It could, oh, it could be anywhere. That is, that is, got it. 10 minutes gone. Only seven cakes down. Ooh. Oh, I already see it though. I already see it. Definitely not gonna sacrifice vault time. Not when cakes are on the line. Eh. Nice. All right, cake, cake, cake. I see it by the tree. Let me has cake. I could actually complete this, you know. Another one? Okay, I'm really gonna focus on getting the cakes and not looting because, ooh, this, it might be, it, it could get very close. We're just missing 13, just missing 13. 30 meters, gonna be on the other side of this place. Would be in a tree. It'll be underground, probably. This room I'm not very happy about. Uh, where is it? It said 13 meters, like over here somewhere. So it has to be down here. Found it, found it, okay. Finally, that took way, oh, come on. That took way too long, 11 minutes remaining. Can I do it still? I uh, don't know, depends. Okay, another one of these, yay. I see it, at, of course it's at the bottom. Why wouldn't it be at the bottom? Of course it is at the bottom. Found it pretty quick though, so let's go on a roll. We're missing less than half, I see it. I'm really, really trying, please, yes. Out of everything, I get a jungle. Ugh. Never mind. Found it within 30 seconds. We're good. <laughs> Added lucky as well. I could focus on looting and just he start heading back, but... Uh, village room as well. Nope, 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 nope. Focus on the cake. Focus on the cake. The cake could be anywhere. 34 meters. Probably past it. Uh, it could be in the stronghold. Uh, please don't be in the stronghold. Please don't be in the stronghold. Okay. Yes, got it. That was, how did I manage to land exactly where it was? <laughs> okay, next. Go, 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 go. Eight minutes, seven cakes to go. One minute to each cake. Got it. Less than a minute, let's go. This is a very long way to get, go back by the way if I'm Messing up on the last cake. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Nine meters, okay. Oh. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh, come on, come on. Let me, let me up. Five cakes. Five cakes, five cakes. Come on. It'll be somewhere on this side. Let us. Got it. I might get this. Four cakes remaining. Gotcha. Crowded. Oh dear, that's not good. <laughs> That's gonna make things harder. <laughs> okay, three cakes remaining though. Three cakes remaining. Three cakes, five minutes. Two cakes, five minutes. One cake, five minutes. Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna be able to do this? <laughs> I think this is a run. I think this is possible. Oh no, this room could be problematic. Um. Five minutes, five minutes, 38 meters. I see it, I see it, I see it, swim. <laughs> I got it, I got it, cake. Uh, do, I need, do I have, do I need, let me make sure that I got everything that's valuable. I think I got it. I actually completed a cake vault. I can't believe it. <laughs> I finished a cake hunt. We actually finished a cake hunt today. Oh wow. Huh. 
Well, that was something. We got cake. <laughs> oh! Oh, it has loot in it? Wait, what? We got a dank. We got a dank, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect this today. Oh, and we got even more cooldown reduction on our Vendor totem. That's almost 10% reduction. This is a big win. This is a really, really big win. Oh, wow. And it went fairly smoothly as well. Not too many hiccups. Okay, I'm gonna start going through this first because we got a bunch of good stuff here as well. Such as a bunch of burger pieces, red leg booster packs, we got a bunch of d different gems as well. Things like that, so I'm gonna go through that and then we'll get to the interesting stuff when we get there. Steel block, interesting. Got a bunch of star essence as well, which is really, really good because we were lacking that. So maybe, do we have enough? I don't think we have enough for another star shot, but we're getting very close. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make one chest just dedicated to bottles of enchanting because I have so many of them that it's a bit ridiculous. Look at this, a full shulker box. That's, yeah, that's a lot. All right, the boss crate has been emptied. Just gonna put all these gems in where they belong. Now these mystery eggs, I'll get back to them later. That's why I have one in my inventory, but I think these might be able to solve my turtle problem because it says contains a random passive mob egg. So if I right click a bunch of these, like open a bunch of these, maybe I'll be able to get two turtle spawn eggs and I can make a turtle farm. That could be really awesome. So I'm gonna do that later. We also have a few mystery boxes, which I will be opening right away. What did I see? A diamond pickaxe. Huh, I was kind of hoping it was a pickerang when I saw it, but nope, but that's fine. Well, like booster packs. Hmm, mystery box, iron ore. <laughs> now we do have this unidentified vault sword, but I'm gonna wait with that. I want to open this cake because look at this. First of all, we have a bunch of cakes, <laughs> which is honestly not too bad because if I want to make more cake, crystals or the vault altar requires cakes well then these are right for the taking but what else we got we got unidentified vault axe unidentified vault axe again hearty apple so these are vault fruit at five seconds to the vault timer so i can eat these inside the vault and get if i ate these two i would get 10 seconds extra to the vault timer which can be really really useful i believe mainly uh for the later uh late game kind of thing or at least later game, I'm gonna call it. But those are really, really cool. Another mystery box. Imagine that was a boomerang. Boomerang? Pigerang? That would be cool. We got a vault pearl. Can be used several times to teleport the player in thrown direction. That's cool. But probably the coolest thing that we could have possibly gotten and that I didn't even know was possible is a dank. Now, I don't know if I actually need the research in order to use them. Nope. I can use it. <laughs> I need to research in order to craft it, I think. Yep, but I can actually use this. Oh, that's that's handy. Press I to change mode, current use type bag. So if I place this, construction, and I do believe I can place blocks with it then. Bag, construction, bag. So if I, if I do filter pickup and I do that, I think if I drop these, they go into my dank. I'm pretty sure there's a way of locking this, but I don't know how that would work. I'll need to do some more research on, on these danks, but that, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I'll be doing some research on this, on how to use this efficiently. And well, that will become part of our future vault running gear. That's not just cool. That's actually awesome. We are also now able to make a bunch more vault burgers. I'm going to make these as we go but we have nearly a stack. That's gonna be cool as well. We almost leveled up actually. And look at all these effects that we got as we went, went through the rooms. All right, the, oh, it's a crake. I did, my brain didn't even register that it was called a crake. I, just, I saw it as cake. All right, let us identify these different pieces of gear. I'm really hoping for the sword because that would be, that would be cool. 
All right, it's gray. Let's take a look. So Scrappy got five repairs and no levels. Meh. This one has three repairs, no levels. When I'm speed, when I'm saying levels, by the way, I'm saying like these, like this one got withering three cloud. That's what I want. This don't have that. The sword, uh, five repairs plus five hundred durability, but other than that, not that much. I mean, it looks sick. It looks sick, but eh, not as good as my swords. I need. Do I have yes. That's can go to my scrappy stuff. All right, now to see if this is possible, I'm going to try 12 spawn eggs and let's see what happens. I got a turtle one. Okay, scrap everything else. I am getting another turtle spawn egg. Come on. I know it's possible. <laughs> they might just be very rare. I don't know. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't, don't, don't. I'm, I'm gonna go through all these. Got it. Got one. We have two turtle spawn eggs. Okay, turtle spawn eggs. I do not know where to put these. I guess some sort of lake. I, I guess I need to set up a cocoa, cocoa bean farm thing. Maybe an automated one. I don't know. I guess we can make a pasture for the turtles like over there maybe. Yeah, I'll I'll probably get something set up uh, off camera in between episodes here. Um, but yeah, this today has been a great day. So guys, I think I'm going to call this an episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, we will be running all these 12 volt crystals. And yes, I'll set something cool up also for the future because this doesn't look that cool. And in between episodes as well, I'll get taken care of. I'll, I'll take care of these turtle eggs. I just quickly want to check statues. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh dear, my statue's dead. Moni is also dead, and Jamie the dude is also dead. Sorry, fellas. It will be... Actually, we might get the cauldron full here, you know? 98%! Okay, that'll have to be for the next episode. So guys, really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications. And also share the video with your friends. Helps out a ton. And also, if you're interested, you can support me over on patreon.com slash binaryvigilante. Really helps me out. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.